Cancer, and welcome to weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 25th. We have entered Gemini season. We have those retrogrades. And this upcoming week, guys, you're going to notice a shift. It kind of reminds you of like when dry mud breaks apart and it's necessary right now. We're kind of shaking off all the integration, all that heaviness that came up. So much inner expansion in so many ways. And really trusting and depending on ourselves, not in a, in a, you know, victim way, but kind of like really grabbing hold and standing in our light, you know, and I think it's extremely empowering. Now, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So check, like, check all three. <laughs> Just so you can kind of see, the, you know, the whole picture for this week, especially that rising sign. And if this is your first time watching me, I really hope this serves you or helps you in some way. If it does, please share, like, subscribe, comment down below. I really appreciate it. All right, Cancer, let's get started. Just falling all over the place with you. Almost there. <gasps> Did you see that? <laughs> we really are all over the place. I'm just gonna get a clarity card and then we'll get started. liking it guys because when it's shifting your energies it's ready to move just need a theme for the week for the energy of cancer please love it two of wands five of swords ten of cups the chariot three of swords queen of wands ten of swords three of coins the clarity card for that three of swords is the king of cups the theme is the four of cups Look at you guys. You know what I love about this? This shows endurance and it shows perseverance in a lot of ways. Now, starting out right off the gate, you have the two of wands. So, Cancer, this is a week of new collaboration. Some of you guys might be starting new jobs or perhaps the dynamic of your workplace has changed. So, your title, what you do, the hours. As we know, we're kind of in unprecedented times here. Or you might be getting a contractual job or just collaborating in some way. Now hear me out. There is definitely movement in regards to your career. It's more about projects. I'm, I'm going to be quite frank. So this can even be like an, um, a side thing that you're doing. Maybe you're working on music video. Maybe you're working on um, some kind of trademark or copyright something. It's something very creative and you're not working alone. You're working with somebody else or at least a group of people. And you had the five of swords on top of it. So they're saying, look at it's very good to work with others and it's very good to work in a way that is collaborative. But be very careful, Cancer, um, reviewing everybody's motives. You know, this kind of reminds me of like when you're in high school and you're like in a little group project and like two people are doing all the work, but one person's not doing shit. Something like that, you know, but they want to take the credit for it. I'm not trying to, it's not fear mongering, but be very careful when you're selecting to do certain things, keep things very business-like, keep things very, there's, there's a very clear boundaries, like this is just business, this is not personal, things are signed, make sure things, everything is signed, um, and agree to cancer before you work with anybody else, you don't want any problems up ahead, so just make sure you're, you're thinking twice about everything that you're agreeing to, nothing wrong, it's just going to save you a lot of trouble in the future. You have the Ten of Cups, and I wouldn't be surprised for some cancers if some of the people that you might be collaborating or even working with are either best friends or family members. And I can see how that can blur the lines a little bit. And they always say, never work with friends and family, never mix money in them or business. Um, but hey, there is a way to do it, but you have to be very clear on boundaries and you have to be very clear on, on um, you know, who's is who's and what is what and that's it you know don't work with someone too emotional here but this is not a bad thing this is definitely something that's necessary if these people are stepping in to help you have your material needs being met your creative needs which is also emotional nature you have the chariot on top of that so even if this is just for right now this is really helping you stay focused. It's helping you be creative and it's helping you with your career. The chariot is about career advancement. It's about forward movement, getting things done, accomplishments, and being recognized for it. And don't mix up the chariot just with money. Don't, don't do that just yet because, for instance, you, you could work really hard all year 
writing a book, right? But then it takes six months to get it edited, get a publisher. Do you know what I'm saying? But regardless of the finances, you are going to be, whatever this endeavor is, is going to be successful and has long-term long-term effects, but it does require the self-discipline. So just FYI, this is very, very effective. I'm super happy for you guys. So whatever you guys are putting together and creating and starting a business, who knows what you guys are doing. All of you guys, good job. Just remember to have those clear lines because this is going to be highly successful. Now you have the three of swords with the queen, the clarity card was the queen of, no, no, I'm so sorry, was the king of cups here. I'm going to go back really quickly. Um, the Three of Swords, as we know, is it's not the best card. It's kind of a very grief-like card. Um, and the King of Cups. Cancers, I'm, uh, let me be your warning sign. You're extremely intuitive, but be very careful who you trust. That's why I started out with this, making sure everything is clear, everything is signed, all agreements are either written down in the email, something you can refer back to. Because the, the Three of Swords can kind of be a grief card because you could have been deceived. And with the King of, of Cups there is because you, you're doing something on the up and up. You're somebody who's trustworthy you're somebody who's being you know legit but not everyone's like you so just fyi like i said to avoid this situation be very clear have everything in writing now we have the queen of swords guys this is the ultimate manifestation you guys don't underestimate yourself cancer if you want to do this later on your own you can right now you just perhaps needed people to join you so you had the confidence and then once you, you realize shit i can do this on my own you're going to the queen of wands is, is extremely independent confident she can attract and don't look at the gender here but this energy can attract everything that it needs sometimes the universe gives us help because we won't start without it doesn't mean we can't do without it but we won't start because we have some belief that we need help to do it or something but if, if something does go south later with this little group that's not a bad thing. So you can break away, stretch your own rings, be independent, and show yourself that you can do without those training wheels are just there in the beginning. You're not supposed to keep them on. The Ten of Swords, guys, this is also about embracing um, new opportunities coming out of difficult situations. You guys are on the up and up, especially mentally. I think you needed this confidence. The Three of Coins is about the power of creativity in groups. Um, so in the beginning, that's what they're saying. Keep it professional, work together, equal thing of power, being able to be a team player, pull your own weight, but also recognizing that everyone else needs to pull their own weight too. The clarity card or the theme of the week is the four of cups. And the four of cups is when we kind of become bored, discontent. And this cancer, I've, I've seen this theme. You, you start out really motivated and that's great. We all do, right? But motivation is not consistent. It comes and it goes because it's an emotion. Emotions are transient. They don't, they don't always stay. Like happiness or sadness, they move. But once the motivation leaves like that, ah, yeah, then you get kind of like, mm, mm. And you, then you do less and less work. And No. Why, do you think people that accomplish big things is because they're always motivated? No. There's plenty of days where they're like, I don't want to do shit. But when the motivation wanes, that's when your, your willpower kicks in. Your discipline kicks in. Your practice of structure must kick in. Otherwise, no one can succeed at anything, right? Look at anything that was ever great. A airplane, automobile, electricity. Everyone shit on these ideas. If, if we were to stop there, then we never would have those things. You must learn, Cancer, to push through that discontentment, that lack of motivation. You must learn to push through because you're going to miss the opportunity that's right in front of you. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Maybe you're doing this and realizing, oh, I found out it'll take me six months to even make a, a dime on this. So what? Are you doing anything else right now? Keep doing long-term goals, short-term sacrifice, long-term goals. This is an incredible week for creativity, for building that product, for moving forward in your career, for building that foundation. The universe did bring people in to help you with this. I don't think that's going to be the case forever, but I think when the time comes, you'll be ready. Cancer, you'll be ready. So congratulations on that member. Keep things business-like, nice and clear, and push past any self stop Like, well, I'll just watch one Netflix episode while I eat lunch. No, because you know that turns into five Netflix episodes. Don't do it, Cancer. Don't do it to yourself. Anyways, I hope this serves you. If you guys would like a more in-depth reading or a distance healing session, my link is down below. Otherwise, guys, have an incredible week, and I will see you next week for next week's readings.